How's it going everyone? Today, my plan was to go do an overnighter further north with the dog, which I did, which I'll put a clip in here. Unfortunately, the bugs were just, well, it was the deer flies, mainly the deer flies, the big deer flies were just eating her alive. And I kind of knew that anyway, but <laughs> She was, we've had a heat wave here recently and she was just giving me those eyes when I was leaving like please, please, <laughs> please take me with you. You can see them now actually. Please take me with you. I don't want to stay here by myself. We've done nothing recently because she hasn't been out because it's been too hot. So. so I did, I caved and I brought her with me but it just, it didn't work out. She was just getting bitten all over. She was just getting bitten all over. Like constantly just like I am now which is a shame but my plan is right now I had to drive home bring her back drop her off at the house and I'm actually at some woods near my house so what I'm gonna do is I, I bought a piece of salmon to take with me and to cook I wanted to do like I brought my tarp and everything that's why I have my pack my full pack so I didn't bother to unpack any of it. I just thought, well, I'll drop her off, go up to the woods and, and cook my food out in the woods. So that's what my plan is now, is to make, is to cook the salmon over the fire. I'm gonna make sort of a spit for it, a, some sort of grill type thing for it. That was my plan anyway, to do like a, a bush crafty style tarp overnighter. My plan right now is to go out again tomorrow and go somewhere else and just go camp by myself and not bring the dog even though she's gonna, <laughs> even though she's gonna hate me bless her but it's just it's not the right time of year for her. I need to wait till the fall when the bugs start to calm down and it's a little cooler the, that was the other problem I went to this location and it looked like on Google Maps there was there was water there was a creek but I guess it's a seasonal creek and the Google Maps aerial photo was taken in the fall in the autumn so so there was no water there for her either which again was bad for me because I brought my uh, I, br I normally I bring a one liter of water and then I bring my my water filter uh, so there was no water for me either so there was no water for her no water for me so the best bet the safest bet was just to bring her home and go out again tomorrow without her so right now I'm gonna get off me. These deer flies, I swear to God. Like I don't mind the black flies so much. They're annoying when they swarm around your face. Mosquitoes, mosquitoes. Everyone always seems to complain about the mosquitoes. But they never really bother me. For these deer flies, man. Ugh, I just I hate them. I hate them. I know you shouldn't say you hate anything. And I know they're part of the ecosystem of the food chain and they do something, but I just, they're the one bug that I just hate. I hate them. I know I sound like a Scrooge, but, and I shouldn't be complaining because it's summer and it's warm, but at the same time, am I the only person who's looking forward to the autumn, to the fall, when it gets cooler outside and there's no bugs? That's the better time of year to go camping, I think. But anyway, enough talking. I'm gonna get my stuff out. I'm gonna make a fire and I'm gonna make... I wouldn't say, it's gonna be like two spits side by side, but it's something that I can splay the salmon out over, so. Anyway, let's do it. See how it goes. Get my saw out. As you can see, I even have the collapsible dog bowl for her, but sadly it wasn't meant to be. I'm sure I've already shown you this, but for those of you who haven't seen it, wingnut on the end, the Sven saw from Sweden. Say, wingnut on the end. 
take it off. These are only like, I think they're one, I want to say they're like 35, 40 dollars on Amazon. Take it out of here, open it up. It's got a hole there that that top end goes through. It's got another hole down here, you see with the slit. The blade then goes into. So that's through there, that's through there. You take your wing nut. And you tighten it down. There you go. It's a good saw. It's a good saw. It's uh, very packable. The only problem with it is the shape of it, right? This shape limits the size of uh, limbs that you can cut. So in an ideal world, it'd be more like this but it's not. And for a packable bow saw that's cheap and affordable, you can't beat it. So I'm gonna cut down, I'm not gonna cut down, I'm gonna go find some wood, collect some tinder to make a fire, and then once it's going, I'm gonna make the grill. All right. Right, I think that should be enough wood, enough hardwood. There's plenty of pine around. You hear that? It's a wood duck. Plenty of pine around to use the bottom branches as kindling. I just need some tinder. If you go find a birch tree, then make a little spot to make this fire down here. So. a little punky as well. Further down it should be alright I think. It's getting better. Probably took the dog whistling. Considering the dog isn't here. I don't need it. Right. Crack on. That looks better. See the see the check in it. The top was a bit punky, but that's nice. Come on. 
super awkward when I'm trying to hold it. You know what? That was anticlimactic. That'll do. I don't know if I'll need that piece. I don't know how much. I've got quite a lot of wood there. Put it to one side for now. I just realised I'm talking and I'm not in frame, but... Right. Let's get the fire going. I need some birch. Birch bark. I can see a massive birch tree behind me. Not behind me, behind the camera. Some wild blueberries look. At least that's what I think they are. I could be wrong. Looks like a blueberry to me. Scraping away all the top layer of pine needles. Duff. The good news is, it has been raining the last couple of days. It's been wetter than an otter's pocket. So I went and got some birch bark, but I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to keep it scrunched up. It's very woody birch bark. And I know what you're thinking, it's bark, but woody birch bark is not good because that means it's thick. And when it's that thick, it doesn't take a flame very well or take a spark very well. You want it to be paper-like, very thin. So one thing I'm gonna try and do is rub it together in my hands and if that doesn't work then I'll scrape it with a knife see if I can't get it to spark but funnily enough there's not a lot of birch trees around here I get so used to there just being birch everywhere that it's surprising when there isn't any so. anyway let's see if we can get this to light all right as you can see I got small sticks bigger sticks pencil lead size thumb size The reason being is everything's wet, so you want to make sure. <laughs> One thing I always say is the key to a good fire is preparation, right? Haste makes waste, <laughs> as they always used to say. So having smaller sticks and then bigger sticks set up first before you try and light it makes the job so much easier. Let's see if I can get that back in frame. Here we go. Stick that on there. Take out my trusty belt knife, fire steel. Mm. See if I can get this bark, batch, birch bark. I've been rubbing it in my hands. Try and soften it up. Also, pretty damp. Oh. Oh, it's going. Let that go for a bit. Easy. Oh. He says as he aggressively puts it down. Steady. Again, super aggressive.
wait till it starts to get going a bit. Once those flames start licking out the top, there we go. Now you can add more. Come on. It's going. Just need to go for a little longer. See, everything's wet. I can hear it. You can see how much smoke there is. You getting smoked out? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I don't just raise the camera up, but because that'd be too easy. Right now, I'm gonna make some type of grill for the salmon. So what I want is like this stick here with that Y shape in it. This is the bit I'm gonna use. Probably cut it off down here. S stick it in the ground. Use that bit to rest the, the part of the grill in, the cross piece as it were. Just like if I was doing a spit, but I wanna make two of them. You'll see. So, use my axe to sharpen the end. I'm going to stick these, I've got four of them, on either side, two on each side of the fire, so let's do it. Jesus Christ, stay in there. Now what I want to do is take my knife, shave the bark off of these. Like so. And then I'm going to poke them through the salmon. Alright, got me two sticks. Right there, look. Luke. I need to get me salmon out. Ah, oh, get off me. Little cooler bag. <gasps> oh my god. What's this? What's that? You feel like heaven to touch. I wanna. Ooh. Double. Doubles. Anyway.
enough of that. Oh, that was so good. So good. It's only cheap. Bud Light. <coughs> Excuse me. Beg your pardon. What would my mother say? But it's so good. It's just beer, isn't it? Beer is beer. Ooh. Lovely piece of fish. And my plan is... poke some holes in it and put my sticks through that's what I'm gonna try oh look at that Oh, it's the skin. The skin's the hard bit. Not if you come at it straight down, look. Stab it into your own leg. Steady. Steady. Oh, it's through. Where's my holes? Like that. Like that. See if I can spread it out. Like that. Oh, why? There we go. Let's get him on the fire. Sorry, typically the uh, camera battery died and the SIM card filled up at the same time. So, anyway, I put the salmon on to cook, sitting and enjoying a nice cold beer. It's starting to get dark. So I think what I'm going to do now is just wait for this to cook, again enjoy my beer, and then I'm going to eat it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a like. If you want to subscribe, uh, please subscribe. I have the stuff, I've already bought the stuff to do the $20 Walmart survival challenge so if you're one of the people who watched the first one and you enjoyed that get ready because $20 is a whole new world I mean $10 was tough don't get me wrong but easily doable but I mean $20 is like it's pretty it's pretty luxurious in comparison I'm gonna put it that way so Anyway, if you want to see that, like I say, make sure you subscribe. And, yeah. Thank you for watching. Take it easy, and I'll see you on the next one.